The time is 12.01 a.m. at location site redacted. It has been redacted days since last broadcast. Backup system protocol. Empty seat. Initiated. Beginning protocol. Welcome to Foundation After Midnight Radio, the Foundation-based radio show transmitting to all of you lovely Foundation personnel around the world. The Foundation was established long ago to protect mankind from terrors and strange objects that would threaten the world as we know it, working in the dark to keep civilization in the light. If you are hearing this broadcast, you are more than likely an employee or operative of the Foundation whether you are aware of this or not. Memetic Kill Agent. Audio completed. All unauthorized listeners without proper clearance neutralized. Please contact your local... Site Director, if you are not receiving this broadcast. Now playing non memetic audio for your listening pleasure. Please enjoy SCP-12 Report 2. 1, 2, Report 2, 3, 4, Complex Floor 5, 6, Doctor Gears 7, 8, Agent Team 1, 2, Report 2, 3, 4, Complex Floor 5, 6, Doctor Gears 7, 8, Agent Team 1, 2, Report 2, 3, 4, Complex Floor 5, 6, Doctor Gears 7, 8, Agent Team 1, 2, Report 2, 3, 4, Complex Floor 5, 6, Doctor Gears 7, 8, Agent Team Team. 
non-mimetic, audio enjoyment complete. The exact time is 12.05 a.m. Seat pressure registered. Switching to live audio feed. Protocol, empty seat, on standby. Thank you for listening to the Foundation After Midnight radio backup system. Hmm, okay, now the mic is on, levels are good, looks like things were set up to broadcast, but no DJ Skip. Huh, maybe he stepped out. Automated broadcast was playing, though. Well, listeners, it's been a while. I'm, uh, not sure how long it's been for you since the last manned broadcast. Personally, I took a leave of absence as the preserving pendants, my foundation intramural softball team, made it to the international championships this year. Originally, our team had been knocked out of the brackets after most of them died in a containment breach involving SCP. Well, you know, really doesn't matter anymore, because after the reality reset, we narrowly beat the critical tomatoes from Site 103 and swung our way to victory, as DJ Skip would say. Seriously, though, good game, guys. And I guess that's our Sports Corner update for today. That was, uh, that was a few weeks ago at the least, though. Sorry, I just got back in here, and I'm kind of just killing time until Skip shows up again. When I left, he didn't mention that he was going away anytime soon. He said he'd have the broadcasts recorded for me to transcribe when I got back, but there doesn't seem to be anything recorded in the backlog. Oh, looks like we've got a phone call coming in? Uh, okay, you're on the air. Hello. Alright, so I finally have a small break, so shoot, do your thing, ask away, I'll see what I can tell you. Uh, okay then. Do you know what happened to DJ Skip? What? How should I know? I thought this was his radio hotline number. No, wait, yes, yes. This is the FAM radio hotline, but I'm not DJ Skip. Were you scheduled to have an interview with him right now? Well, no, not actually right now, but he's been bugging me to come on the show for a month. I finally had a breakthrough in my research, but I'm waiting to hear back from my good-for-nothing team lead to move things forward, so I figured this would be the most productive use of my time. I hadn't heard from DJ Skip or whatever he's going by now for a while, and the silent treatment always gets me, so here I am. And you would be... I'm researcher Belford, Dr. Belford. I'm from the memetics department. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're just, what, the station intern? No, I'm the assistant and or replacement Midnight DJ host. I could do your interview right now if you'd like. And you are? Oh, I'm Andrew. Usually I just transcribe the broadcasts. Do you have any idea what branch I work in, what my research encompasses? The memetics branch, right? Did DJ Skip actually know either? Could you explain it on air for me and the listeners? I think I'll just call back another time. I'm going to send another passive-aggressive email out before the weekend excuses everyone from checking their inbox for two more days. Okay, I'll be sure to let DJ Skip know you stopped by, Miss Belford. Oh, he will be aware. Right. And it's Dr. Belford. Got it. Goodbye. Bye. This is why I'm glad I don't work with researchers anymore. Oh, uh, well, uh, the voicemail light is flashing, so why don't we go listen to some of those right now? Hi, Skip. It's Research Assistant Hadley again. Just wanted to tell you that we're having a great time over here. And uh, actually, we started up a band, me and the Buzz. We call ourselves the Bleeding Radio. We're performing around uh, Site 26 uh, sometime within the next couple of months. If you have the time to come and swing by, you should totally come see it. We've been working on a lot of great new stuff. Uh, maybe something you could feature on your radio, yeah? I'm Not to push the issue, but hey, you know, it could happen. <laughs> Get the word out. <laughs> All right, well, um... I'll have to, I'll just call again later. Uh, great job with the show so far. You know, everything has been chaos, but <laughs> I guess it's all back to normal now. So, yeah, you know, I guess, uh, I guess I've reached the point of this call then. Hmm. Uh, not sure if I should hang up yet. Uh, well, oh, uh, yeah, so to recap, uh, me and my buddies, um, Site 26, Bleeding Radios, New Music, awesome. Put it on your show if you want to, don't feel inclined to. And, yeah, uh, that's a, about it. Um, I should probably get back to work seeing how our sample of gelatin has just become somewhat sentient and has begun eating Mark's hand. Oh, okay, well, uh, talk to you later. Bye. I'll pass that along to Skip, since he's the one in charge of the music lineup, 
but I'm looking forward to hearing the bleeding radios. I don't play, but I always love foundation-based music groups. Okay, next voicemail coming at you. Hello, DJ Skip. Agent Hosman here again. Dr. Rich is still on life support, and they're trying to stop his fluids from turning into Irish cream, but so far no luck. <laughs> He's alive at least, but can't really act as my supervisor. I was working with him the longest, and I do have a doctorate, so I guess that's why they promoted me. <laughs> suppose my title is Dr. Hosman now. Honestly, I'm still getting used to all this. There was... I was just another person working in the field and under a research team, but now I'm in charge. I don't know where to start. Dr. Rich took over from Dr. Kondraki, and now it's my turn. I hope this position isn't rigged. Oh, uh, they're talking about what happened back over Christmas while I had some time off for the holidays. Uh, not sure the date on that. Well, congratulations on the promotion, Dr. Hossman now. Let's see, who else called in? <laughs> uh, that's adorable. Uh, I just wanted to extend some gratitude for me, or for me to you from the Foundation. We think it's really quite cute that you and other people are doing things like this. And we just wanted to say thanks. It's really been boosting morale at Site 34 uh, ever since uh, incidents happened. And one of our agents is kind of going under with his daughter. But, again, we do want to say thank you because your little broadcast <laughs> has kind of really helped some of the low, lower guys down here. Um, so, yeah, thanks. I don't have any recommendations, so keep it up, man. Well, thank you. I'm sure DJ Skip appreciates your call, and I know I'm glad we're helping to keep morale up. I think I can save this for him to hear when he gets back. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. There's a big pile of papers and notes next to the soundboard here. How about this? While I sort through these, why don't we listen to a word from our sponsor? Hey, this is Toy King 07, or Eric J. Stover, as you may know me. I'm the creator behind this podcast you're listening to right here. We're taking a moment to step back from that, though, so I can directly talk to you. Sorry if this breaks your immersion. Wanted to make sure that I had everyone's attention to talk about some new changes coming to FAM Radio. So, after a long break, nearly a year off, in 2017, FAM Radio is back, and we're producing several new episodes coming out in the next few months. We're excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. Part of this is bringing new ways for you guys to support FAM Radio. This podcast is a work of love. It takes a lot of hours to help make sure that we can keep at this. We are opening up ways for you to support the project directly. If you head down to the description, you will find links to a new Patreon I've set up for Toad King Studios. Check that out. For those of you on YouTube, we're rebranding. So instead of Toad King 07, it's now Toad King Studios. And I'm moving to a new YouTube channel, Toad King Studios 1. That's where all future episodes are going to be. I want to keep this short. That's about all I got. So right now, back to your regularly scheduled After Midnight Radio broadcast. Welcome back, listeners. It seems we have a note here marked for a median announcement. Experiment Chamber 16 will be temporarily unavailable to staff until the dimensional breach in the chamber is closed. The dimensional breach was reportedly caused due to an unauthorized experiment involving SCP-826. All personnel involved with the bookends are directed to read the Foundation policy on fanfiction, specifically the crossover subsection, and then report to human resources. Well, as far as experiments gone wrong, fanfiction coming to life doesn't sound like the worst, but that definitely is a gross use of SCP artifacts. Also, why ponies? Alright. I've got an announcement here that was pre-recorded by DJ Skip himself. Seems it was queued to go out before, so not sure how long he's been sitting on it, but here goes. Just a quick announcement from the O5 Council. There is no SCP designation between the numbers of 2520 and 2522. On an unrelated note, the pervasive memetics on Foundation sites has recently been updated. Anyone who finds that they are missing a number in the region of 2520 to 2525, but cannot understand why, should report to medical for treatment. The less you know, the better. 
Signs, 05. Redacted. Okay, well, that might not have been as helpful as they were hoping, but he's not wrong. The less you know about SCP-2521, the better. Moving on, I've got some more announcements here. <clears throat> Here's your dog fact of the day. Your lifestyle determines your death style. Wait, what? Why is that in here? Okay, the rest of these are either past the date or make about as much sense as that last one. Well, the red light is still flashing, so I guess we still have more messages to go through. Hi, you skipped uh, Hadley again. Um, just calling because uh, there's a bit of a cancellation on the whole band music thing. Um, research assistant Mark, uh, our lead guitarist, uh, has lost his hand uh, to the now sentient blob of gelatin that exclusively refers to itself as Tim the All-Powerful and All-Seeing, and as such, he will be unable to play for any future performances. So until we find a new lead guitar player, we will not be doing any performances or recording the album. So, yeah. Um, in other news, uh, yeah, we have a new member here at at, this, at the uh, facility. Um, you know, the gelatin, while, while having eaten uh, Mark's hand, he, uh, he's come to uh, really appreciate our work and wishes to join the team. So, yeah, we'll see where that goes. Tim is a pretty nice guy. Um, first himself as a god, actually, so it's pretty interesting and unique. Hopefully, uh, the staff will welcome him to the team. So, yeah, uh, see you next time. <laughs> oh, well, that's an unfortunate turn of events. Sorry to hear it. I was looking forward to that. To our listeners, if you or anyone you know has Foundation-related music you'd like aired in future broadcasts, be sure to submit it to scp93.famradio at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing what you got. Jeez, how many messages does DJ Skip let sit on here? Next voicemail! Hey Andrew, just calling to let you know I'm uh, running from the smoothie place and I'm going well, to give me a little bit of late. So I'm... Oh. Oh, no, no, I realize that you, uh, you're probably at your softball championship by now. So, I guess tonight I'm having two smoothies. <laughs> uh, well, worst thing's gonna happen. I'll call you when I get back. Oh, uh, P.S., that is the second time that Van has circled around, and I'm not seeing the typical Foundation markings or the Telltale SCP branding, so I guess I'm probably being followed? Yeah, no, that's the third time that has circled around. Yep. Yeah. No, nah, guess I'm probably about to get kidnapped. Oh, now they're getting out of here. Oh, they even have ski masks. Oh, how cliche. This is exciting. You no, no, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm just like, oh. Oh, it's on the ground. Oh, all right. I'm not going to make this too much on you. Oh, shit. This concludes Foundation After Midnight Radio, Episode 7, Better Late. Be sure to leave us a review on iTunes if you have enjoyed this or any of our past episodes of Foundation After Midnight. It really helps us and only takes a few seconds. Thanks a lot for that. FAM Radio is written by Toad King 7 aka Eric Stover, and by Kyle Stover. It is produced by Toad King Studios, found on YouTube at youtube.com slash toadkingstudios1. DJ Skip is voiced by Kyle Stover. Special thanks to our guest voice actors for this episode. Andrew is voiced by Stefan, Paper Airship. Dr. Belford is voiced by Emma Sklar. The automated backup voice system is voiced by Lisa Flanagan. Foundation After Midnight Radio is based off the SCP Foundation. Content relating to the SCP Foundation, including the SCP Foundation logo, is licensed under Creative Commons, Share Alike, 3.0, and all other concepts originate from the SCP Wiki. Inspiring works and authors are credited in the space provided. Please check below for links in the description and on the SCP FAM Radio Facebook page. Drop us a message if you have questions, fan mail, or if you have an idea for a foundation-themed band name. Email us at scp93.famradio at gmail.com or give our radio hotline a call at 512-93-RADIO. That's 512-93-RADIO. Stay tuned for more broadcasts to come.